Hello there guys, it's Jack from Carpet Farmers back again and today we're going to be doing a video that was follows on from the last video I done it's how we make our models now with I have a 3D printer as Johnny said before but um, I'm going to do show you today and the model of choice is going to be this land leveler it's a, te it's a 10 foot John Porter land leveler and the um, land leveler idea was actually suggested by the new Holland farmer so thanks for that but um, we'll get into it. So the land level I've chose is this one. It's a 10 foot working width. Um, there is a smaller one and a bigger one that folds up and maybe make that someday. But for today we're going to be making this one. Um, it's made, it says it's made out of a uh, heavy duty box section which is probably 100, probably 100 by 100 box, I'm not sure. But I'm going to make it 4 by 4 to 132 scale. And it's 10 foot working width which Translates to 95.25 millimeters width and 132 scale. So, and I had to guess the the length of it. So I'm going to guess it's the length is about half the width. So I guess roughly 50 mil. So there are the dimensions I'm working. With. Okay, I've now moved over to Autodesk Fusion 360, which is my the CAD software I use. It's free to hobbyists and educational license, I think. Yeah, because I've got the educational. One. But um, I'm going to start off by making the, this frame for the links. This is just completely decoration because this will be redundant on the model one because we'll have a, um, a different frame. So we'll start by, I think that's going to be 50mm back and I'll probably make it about 35mm high. So we do it on this plane and look at it. So as I say, 50mm black. There, so I'm gonna make it four by fifty. That's one side, and then up from there it'd be thirty-five by four. So that's then two. Now I should be able to pull this out four millimeters, and that gets us this. So now if I go into sketch on this side, now we're on this bit. Now we can make sketch of this 45 degree 45 yeah 45 degree support so make a line 45 degrees basically in there and then I'm gonna make it four millimeters down so that's that and then just make another line in here which is also 45 degrees and make it on that line and then if I just them to four finish it and I should be able to press that out to the same width as that and yes that's our support so that's one side that's this piece so now I'm going to copy this so I'll make the piece I just copy the sketch on here Four by four um, square again, holding it together. Box section, I should say. But then I'm gonna make that out. Let's make it 22 mil actually. And I should be able to join that to that. Okay, so that's that there. Bit made. Just to add in small chamfers. Four mil will do. So there's them made. It's pretty good. So now we need to make the the angle iron that runs in the ground. So create a new component. I'm just gonna make it call it ground angle. Okay, and then create a sketch. Any plane will do, so I'll do that one. And then Four by four again. Just simply split it in half, and then pull this here out. The measurement was ninety-five point two five wide, so that's the width it's going to be running on the ground. That 
to start with so now I should be able to select this turn it around 35 move it directly this way out of the road a bit okay so now we need to find the how this attaches to this and the center of this has to be the center of this so to do that I'm going to create sort of so I don't I need a sketch but create a sketch just finish it by joining the center of this to the center of this That's perfectly in the center now. So I just find the distance between there and there. It's that distance I need that. But next, I'm going to add in the wee gussets in here to make it join easier. Okay, so there's them two wee gussets added. Also, I can hide hide this sketch. Right, this sketch here. It. That's the components I need. So I, I need three more of them. I just copy, paste new. Okay, so I should be ready to join everything up now. I just, I'm going to start by joining the. So I need to turn off. Just to get that selected. There it is. Turn this back on again. Select that there. Okay, see that's the front and the back one on. Need to work out the middle distance. Okay, so we left a few calculations worked at 12.9 is the middle distance. Okay, so we've got all them joined up with 12.9 between them, uh, pretty even and all, looks pretty good. Now I just did two pieces of, big pieces of angle to go on, so I'll, does, I'll make them now. Okay, I have this bit made now, it should be simple enough to join on the end. That's it there. Join our made. Just need to add the other side. Okay, so that is the finished product. The from the back. But um, that's the finished product. The land leveler. Well the finished product from the computer obviously. But looks pretty much like that one. I thought we'll get it printed out and see what it looks like. So we'll get the time lapse running. Okay quickly we're just uh, gonna show you how I slice all the models. It's in this software called Ultimaker Cura, which is a slicing software which basically turns the model into loads of layers. The printer just basically spits plastic out on. So I've got all the parts saved here. Four parts, but there'll be more. Um, and the software's very slow for some reason. Maybe it's just the computer I'm using. Oh, wrong way. But um, so we need one of them need four of them. Okay now we've got the um, all the models arranged, this is the whole land leveler, it's all arranged and I'm going to print it at 0.1mm layer height, that's the height each layer is printed at and I'm going to make 20% infill so it's going to be actually made at 50% there just so it's more solid 
I won't need any support because this is all no overhangs and I won't need any um, adhesion because it's all pretty flat so that should be good to slice now or we the speed I think yeah the speed's too high turn that down to 50 and that should be ready to slice That is now sliced and I should have the option I'll just yeah save it. I'm gonna save it to removable drive. I'm just gonna change this to land leveler. So I'll save that now and eject it and we'll send it over to the printer to print and I'll have a wee time lapse to show you it printing. So it's just finished printing, so we'll get it off the bed now. Looks pretty good. All the different pieces we split it into, but I'll get it off the bed. Uh, just using the uh, knife. I'll listen here, I should be able to yeah, just lift it up. Yeah, the other ones. The taller ones you can lift up, like that. But the, sh the smaller ones I'll use a knife. Okay, so we got it all off the printer. There's a pretty good print. All these seem to turn out quite well. There's just obviously the wee, er, like them there bits there, that just need picked off, really. They're just wee extra bits, so I'll do all that now. I'll speed it up and I'll clean all these bits up just to get them perfectly the way we want them. So I got it all glued up and got the, hit, the linkage glued on. So and now it's on the tractor really well. Looks really good. Looks just like the one we designed earlier. But that's basically it. That's how we make our models nowadays. But um, we do other thing with like obviously with the lights of the slurry wheel right here, with the paint it and all, and to get all the lines out is a big job. Like you can still sort of see them at you, sort of see them, and it's a big job getting the lines out. But um, yeah, it's worth it in the end because you get good custom models like this but um that's it thanks for watching the this video it's probably been quite a long video I haven't uh, edited it yet to see thanks for watching please remember to like and subscribe and comment see if you like this type of video but thanks for watching